Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a web calculator that I've created on my website uh, so that you can um, easily calculate confidence intervals for correlations. There aren't a lot of uh, general stats packages out there that calculate them very easily, and I showed in a previous video that you can kind of trick SPSS into calculating confidence intervals, uh, but they're not really that, they're not totally accurate. They're off by you know, roughly probably about 10% the confidence intervals are. So if you really need uh, much more accurate confidence intervals, I'd encourage you to check out um, this web page that I've got, and I'll have a link to it in the summary of this YouTube clip. Uh, the first step in uh, act and first step in using this uh, spreadsheet is to activate it. So you have to click to edit, and it usually takes a few seconds. For, oh, there you go. So once the shade changes, it's ready to be edited. So let's say you just need to in, uh, you'd only need to include your correlation and your sample size. So let's say we had a correlation of 0.85 and a sample size of 186. Okay, and then you click enter, and then there's the yellow comes up and it's t suggests it highlights the fact that it's changed. So for a correlation of 0.85 and a sample size of 186, the 95% confidence intervals correspond to 0 0.815, 0 0.805, and 0.886. I've also got 99th percentile con confidence intervals and the 90th percentile confidence intervals. Um, Let's say we look at an even smaller correlation of 0.35 and only a sample size of 50. We can see that the correlations, uh, confidence intervals change fairly substantially, that now we're in, into the negatives with the uh, 99th percentile confidence intervals. Uh, we've crossed the barrier of zero. So if you ever wanted to use uh, confidence intervals to help you uh, determine statistical significance of correlations, you can use this. Most people use it just as to add emphasis, uh, add extra information on their correlations. And it's really unfortunate that um, st software packages don't do this. So check out my website. I hope you find it useful. See you next time.